Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stamp It Your Way for May. It is May um, and it's new catalog time and we are so excited to be here. I am Betsy Kreider with Be Creative Stamping and I am in Pennsylvania. And my sidekick over here is... Hi, everybody. I'm Mary Ellen from Create With Me and I am in East Central Illinois. Absolutely. Hi, everyone. Uh, we're so excited to be here. Uh, and we always get together every month and we just have a good time stamping together. And we're glad that you're joining us uh, and, you know, watching and seeing what we're doing. And hopefully you get some laughs and learn some new tips and techniques. Yeah. And this one's really fun, too, Betsy, because we're using a new product out of the new catalog. We have a new catalog that went live on May 1st. So uh, we're going to be showing you uh, uh, an amazing suite of products, and mm -hmm. and uh, we know that you're going to enjoy. We're going you're going to enjoy stamping along with us, or or stamping with us later. So, mm -hmm. so did you get all your favorites out of the new catalog already? I still have a few. I I just kind of have to pace myself. How about you? I'm a demonstrator. I get a discount. I want it all, and I want it all right now. <laughs> well, I will say that um, this suite of products was one of the first ones that I had to grab. And you'll see why in just a second, because if you don't know, my room, my studio here is called the Creativity Nest. So that's a little hint, hint. Hint, hint. So yeah, to, absolutely. You ready yeah, to there's show some the product? Beautiful. Yeah, there's some beautiful stuff in there. Yeah, you ready? Ready to get started? Yeah. Yeah, well, okay. we can, or we can talk about the new catalog. I'm, I'm, I'm just joining it. So whatever, whatever you hey, want to do. I'm all for winging it. Um, uh, new catalog. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, you have it there, right, at your desk. I do. I do. Let's, you want to see it? Yeah, let's let's go see it. So here's the new catalog. It's so beautiful. It's you can so see pretty. A little, it is so pretty, and you can see a little bit of shine on it because it's got an emboss and embossing all around. It's just a pretty catalog. It just it just screams, you know, nature and fun and relaxation. Um, you'll notice mine spiral bound. I just have mine spiral bound so I can lay it flat on my desk. Uh, when you get yours, you won't have that, but you can easily have that done. Um, so you want to you know go one of the things. One what? of the things I, I, that I love about this cover is that Stampin' Up! really is kind of talking about this, this curing loneliness, right? So many people... Yeah. This is all about us getting together and being together and this, you know, ending loneliness. And, and it just looks like a group of friends just having a good time. Now, would I be out there in the grass per se? Maybe not, but I would definitely <laughs> want to be with my friends and having a good time, right? Well, most certainly. And, and gathering with friends is what keeps me doing what I'm doing. And I know it's the same for you. Um, just yes. being together, doing something that we love. Uh, as a group, you know, whether it, it I know this is maybe a, not super practical, but um, when we are together with friends, I think that's portraying this whole feeling of, um, you know, just a gathering feeling and being with friends. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Love it. I agree. Absolutely love it. So you'll see a few little different things in this catalog. I think um, after you look at it, Betsy and I are really enjoying the new concept in here. And um, there's so much. Um, I'm going to say education in here. There, don't you think, Betsy, there's a lot of things that um, have been missing and that are now in here, like um, some things on color and um, some. Um, oh, my gosh. There's so many techniques. There's so many yeah, ideas just, for, you know, yeah. whether or not you're doing a background image or whether or not you're sponging or braring or or heat embossing. And there's, uh, you know, using embossing photos, there's so many techniques in this book and. You, it's right. It's an educational catalog. It's not a catalog. Yeah. It's an educational idea book. It's yeah. all kinds of things. My daughter calls it a magazine catalog, a resource. She said there's um, sketches in here and there's how to put a basic card together. So uh, I just feel like there's something for everybody. But I want to show you the suite of products that we're going to be um, playing with. Uh, I'm going to say playing with because um, I like to think that what I do is playful. And um, I love this. So it's Country Wood Suite Collections on page 48 and 49 of the new annual catalog. Um, you'll see here when I turn the page what part of the suite. But you can see the cute little birdhouses, which I absolutely love. 
So this oh is gosh. a giant Love suite. It. This is a, I'm going to call it a deluxe suite because we've got two bundles in our um, this suite and two packs of 12 by 12 paper along with some accessories that I'm going to show you here in a minute. But we're going to concentrate on the Country Flower suite of products in our cards um, this week. So the Country Flowers and the Country Flower or Country Lace Designer Series paper um, is where we're going to concentrate. So, so before I you move off that page, before you move yeah. off that page, I think this is really helpful for some people. So up at the top, it says Sweet Collection, and it has an item number, which right. means you get everything in that suite. You get both bundles, both packs of DSP, the designer series paper. You get the embellishments, the folder, the ribbon, all of that. But if you are ordering, and it tells you that this, and you want to order it as a suite, and the Sweet Collection comes up and says to you it's unavailable, that doesn't mean the whole suite is unavailable. That just means there might be one part of it that's unavailable. So let's say that the ribbon is currently sold out. Well, you can still order everything else on those two pages except for the ribbon because you can order them individually. The sweet collection ID number, item number, is only for convenience purposes. It, uh, so don't think that it's completely unavailable. I have a lot of people that get confused by that, and I want to make sure they understand that. Yeah, that's a good point. That's really a great point because that is so, so true. Um, yeah. Because sometimes there's just one item that's just not here yet. And so you you can still get the bundle or the paper or whatever, you know, depending on what's sold out or temporarily, usually temporarily. So thanks yes. for bringing that point up. So we're going to use the Country Flower stamp set. And here's the, a little bit uh, better picture of what we're going to be doing. And I just adore this stamp set. There's a little bit of floral. There's a little bit of foliage. There's some really nice words. Um, a sympathy, which um, sadly we need that uh, all Always too often. Need. But about Always. best friends and sending love and just so lucky to know you. So it's definitely a, a stamp set for friendship, which is all about what we're talking about with the gathering. So this is the, um, let me close my catalog. This is the stamp set. And then as we do our cards, we'll be showing you the dies that go with it. Um, but I want to share with you the paper. And I've got um, some of the uh, country lace paper here. Some of it's been cut a little bit. But um, it's just, this is kind of a blue, gray, and petal pink theme. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna one of them reminds it. me of denim. Isn't there a denim one in this? Yeah, it looks like yep, denim. this one right here. Yes. So pretty. So pretty. And then there's a little bit of um, the new, I think this is a new basic beige. So there's a new uh, basic beige mm -hmm. and then a little bit of green, or a little bit of gray. And then the other paper, which is really my absolute favorite, I'm going to flip oh through my it God. here. I'm going to try to flip through it so uh, so you can see these wood tones. Could I just have that any of these on my walls, by the way? So can no. you know, all in my house, feel free to just, is it, would I it know, be bad to one. take designer series paper and just literally paste them all <laughs> over my wall and put that as my wall? <laughs> it's beautiful. So every one of these, I mean, look at that one with the, the petal pink, it's just so pretty. Rustic, wood grains, I love everything about that paper. So hopefully we'll get to use that sometime soon. The yes. other things that you get in that, the other thing you get in that suite are these basic gray and smoky slate pearls, which are beautiful. And I think we use those um, on our cards. We both use those on our cards. And then we, did. we, didn't, we didn't use this embossing folder, but I'm really looking forward to using this. Um, this is like a little eyelet. It matches the paper um, that we're going to be using today, the, the country lace. Um, uh, and it, it is a 3D folder. So it's a little bit thicker. So it does give you a really nice embossed image. And then lastly in there, you get a duo pack or a double combo pack of ribbon. And one is this petal pink, which um, I'm I'm totally in love with this. It's it's just, a, I just I like have used. Pink. I have used so much of this ribbon. I think I've gone through like three or four complete packs of this ribbon already. Yeah. I know. I've yeah. used a lot too. And, and and it's just so pretty. And then, so it comes in white and then um, some petal pink. So I'm going to be using the petal pink today. So I've got that open for you. So let me move these out of the way. And then I'm going to start with my cards, if that's okay with you. Um, Absolutely. Let me Jump you. in. Let's do it. Good. So here is, um, you know, the sympathy card. And so 
Um, I just love this little plant and I want to show a fun way of using the dies, just the die cut behind it. So um, the background is, it's a little hard to see sometimes, but the background is this little um, dot in that. a pink. So, mm -hmm. so pretty. So what you're going to get in your packet, um, you're going to have, you're going to have the designer series paper because we've given you um, some of that. Let me get this card out of the way and this envelope. And so you've got your um, card base, which is petal pink, eight and a half by five and a half. You've got some layers of um, Lost Lagoon and then that petal pink again. This is the designer series paper that you'll, we'll give you measurements and you'll cut it. Um, I can just tell you right now, if you're doing Stamp It Your Way uh, without having bought the packet, then this one is um, three and three quarters by five. And then this one's just an eighth of an inch bigger. You've got um, the piece for the inside. Basically, it's the same, three and three quarters by five. And then some pieces that you're going to have some stamping and die cutting, uh, die cutting on this. And then this is our little banner that we're going to stamp the sympathy greeting on uh, our, our uh, sentiment. And then a little piece to die cut um, this cute little pot. Now, there's no stamp for this, but um, you're just going to uh, die cut this double handle Pot. And I did the little. Um, oh, that's a good idea. Because yeah, then I you don't the, even have to. You just use the designer series paper to to be the decorative to, part. To be the decorative part. So I just put that little uh, eyelet piece right in the middle, just like that. So when I cute. got done, it looked just oh, like this. Oh, look so at it! Do, it's so cute. I'm gonna do a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of embellishing to it to just make it pop. So that's what you're gonna need for your basic card. So let's just go ahead and. Um, Fold the card and get the uh, layers layered down on it. This paper, that this um, card, not this paper, this card doesn't have any um, ribbon on this one. I use ribbon on the other card, and I'm going to do this one uh, in landscape mode. So it's going to be just layered with the Lost Lagoon and then the designer series paper, which I can do um, ahead because there's no ribbon. I, I, I knew that was going to happen. I ran out of it. Um, <laughs> oh, the minute I'm you get on camera. <laughs> I, was, I thought, well, don't take it out now because you're going to um, have a little bit. But I didn't know it was like one inch or I would have had that out. So, but I was ready. I was ready for you. I was ready. So let me just I was prepared. Started. I know. I, I was thinking, oh, well, you know, you don't want to really take it out because then you've got, you know, 10 inches or 12 inches to use and you could get through one card. Well, no, no. Sure. I should have known. <laughs> and then the Good designer timing. series paper. Yeah, yeah. So there's your basic card, and then you're just going to do your embellishing. So I'm going to start with um, this little um, pot right here. And what I did was I took a marker. Now, I've got uh, both basic gray and smoky slate. Um, on my card here, I used basic gray, and you can see that there is a little bit of a line. I just took my marker and outlined it. I'm going to try using the smoky slate and see if it gives me a little subtler color so i think it will oh, so blend yeah, it a little I bit better like it. so mm -hmm. what it does is it just gives it some uh dimension the no, dimension. I, say dimension. I was gonna say dimension or kind of um you could even do a little bit of stuff on your handle if you want i'm gonna leave it like that and then um i'll set that aside then out of my um, soft sea foam. I took all these leaf dyes. So I'm going to place them up so that you can see how they come. So I love how, how they give us this. so many dyes that yes. you're not having to cut like individual, right? Right. And I'm going to use my little poker here to show you that um, this is the individual leaf and this one, and then this is a double. And then you've got two of those so that you can cut a lot out at one time. And then this is all one piece right here. And I've pre-cut that for you. So let me put the dies out of the way and bring in the pieces. I've got two more here. I'm just going to use my piece of paper to pick them up. And I've got the pieces right like this. So you get the four loose leaves, the two that are together, and then this piece right here. So we're going to have that. And then we're going to bring in our scrap here for just our stamping of our um, leaves, our little plant. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and just do some quick coloring. So we've given you a piece of paper. So you, for both your cards, you can do two just like that. What I'm coloring just going to color is that? One. This is what basic color ink gray. is that? Oh, basic the gray. gray. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for asking. 
I know I'm really terrible about that. No, this no, is, no. Um, I couldn't tell if it was like a dark, like almost like a spruce. Looks, I couldn't tell if you're using a spruce like, or I know it looks like a memento, but it's basic gray, which is basically yeah. almost a black. But yeah. Um, so all your the only colors you're gonna need, I'm using Lost Lagoon uh light and dark for my um to kind of match my um paper here. That's my little layer. So I'm gonna do this kind of down and dirty super quick. You don't, I think that's the thing I, I always want to teach about coloring is don't stress about it. I think people are like, oh, I don't like to color. It's so tedious, but it does not have to be like, just watch where the um, leaves are and you can just color straight over. You can kind of do circles. You can do lines. It really goes fairly fast. You don't have to stay inside the lines when you're doing it with these leaves over leaves because, um, Know, one goes into the next it's the when you're adding the dark color and the shading that makes it that's what makes it really pop so see how fast i colored those leaves just like that but even and that without go, shading without shading that's yeah. okay too right like that super pretty yeah it's super sure. pretty it's super pretty so i'm just going to take the dark do my um stems and then i'm going to give you tips on using dark anywhere that a leaf is going to overlap another leaf I'm taking and making it dark anywhere like here. This one's overlapping here. So there's a shadow. I know there's going to be a shadow. There's going to be a shadow here. And really, you could just stop like that. Just this one's overlapping that one. So I'm going to make the dark kind of where these two are meeting and overlapping. And you mm -hmm. could stop there or you could take your blend, your light and go back and blend it out. Just simple, super, super simple. Mm -hmm. So if coloring Pretty. is a stressor for you, um, I hope that just giving you those little tips, um, that blends the alcohol kind of blends into itself and it doesn't take too much to, um, just give it a little depth. See how that just changed it from being flat, flat to just a little bit of blending. And I didn't even do it that hard. So, Pretty. I mean, I didn't do that much to it, but I'm going to bring in my, um, little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and cut that out for you. So I've got the little die here, and the secret is just finding the right direction. And because <laughs> I'm, and because I, because I'm always uh, when I do it on camera, I don't always get it right. I'm going to use a little bit of tape, and this is a repositional tape. Oh my goodness, it's sticking. Yeah, it's really I had it out, but it didn't work. So I'm just going <laughs> to use a little bit of that just like this to get that in the right place so that when i cut it it stays and then another thing is if you're unsure about like how do i cut um when you're using a machine like this always think like sandwich that's what i tell my customers think sandwich i'm making a sandwich and my um cutting my coloring is the meat or uh, whatever inside and then my plates are the bread so this is your bread and your meat or cheese are always inside so if you're if you're not sure what the direction is of course there's directions on the um, plates but if you're not sure just think mary ellen told me that to make a sandwich so <laughs> we're all about <laughs> we're all about the food we're all about the food we're all, we're about, all the about the food, the food. Yeah, we're all about the food. I mean, let's just get honest here. Okay, so now, now you ask me directions, <laughs> I'll point you to every restaurant along the way. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and stamp our greeting. We're going to stamp, um, I'm going to bring in the basic gray again. I'm going to stamp my greeting that says, um, with heartfelt sympathy. And I'm going to just stamp it on my, um, I've used a piece of designer series paper. This is the same one that is the back of this one here, the little gray eyelet. And so I just did with heartfelt sympathy. And then I'm going to take my snips and do a little bit of a flagged end just by going down the middle and then coming up um, and hitting each of those corners up to the point and then pull that off. So there's my um, greeting here. So we'll go ahead and get started by taking our dimensionals off. We're going to start with this little uh, bit. Now I recommend if you're, when you're doing these leaves, probably just use a little bit of liquid adhesive. And we're going to lay that down. And this plant here is going to be coming 
behind from behind my um, flower pot, just like this. Whoop. Okay. And then I can add, I like to just go direct. Uh, I know that I want to extend this plant out a little bit. And I like to just go direct on my um, paper, just like that, using my take your pick tool. I can just pick up those leaves. And Isn't that the one. best? It's yeah, so easy. Yeah, it's so great. And then we've got to have something coming out over here. So why not pick up one of these uh, double leaves and we'll kind of tuck it, tuck it under that handle so that it's coming out just like that. So this is super easy. While I've got the glue, I'm just going to go ahead and have, add my little flag here. And then I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of this. Now, there's a lot of ways. I kind of played around with this. I don't know. You guys can play around with it too. But I didn't want to go way down on the pot and just cover up all this loveliness. And I thought, mm -hmm. you know, these stems are going right under this leaf. And I thought, this is, I thought about this a lot. This is me. <laughs> um, so, so I thought, this is coming down here. You're never going to see it. If I, ex if I expand that way up here above the pot, it's the illusion of being a, just a little taller plant. Does that make sense? Absolutely. See, so the stems are going down here. It's covered by this leaf. It, you've got a little opening. It's just not so flat. It's a little bit of more dimension. And then all I have to do is finish off with, um, I'm going to need that, some uh, gems. So we've got, and then I'll do my inside. So I'm going to do the little darker color. I'm going to put one right here in the middle of our pot. And then I'm going to put one on my little greeting here. And I'm going to go to the bigger ones. And I'm just going to add my, I'd like to do the threes. This one doesn't count as my three. I'm going to just, I'm going to go just like that. So, so, so pretty. Just cute. like that. Cute, cute. And then I'm going to make an inside for my card. I'm going to move this out of the way so it's not confusing. And I'm going to stamp the words sending love. Because if I am giving you my sympathy, um, I'm definitely giving you my love too. And I, and I hope that. Uh, you feel it. So I'm going to do the sending love. And I got thinking about this. Because I've got um, a couple extra die cut leaves, why not add mm -hmm. some of those right here to the inside of the Great. card? Just like that. Instead of stamping um, something, I'm just going to add the little leaves to the inside. I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive. And there's my card. So this is, you can definitely make this your own, however you want. But I just thought that was kind of fun way to just use up those little bit of um, die cuts right inside, just like that. Oh, so super there's, cute. There's my first card. Nice so job. Me, yeah, let me get things cleaned off. So that one's not hard. And, well, neither of my cards are hard, but let me, let me just make room and get myself organized here. And so I'll bring in my second card. And here it is. And this is a fun oh, little book binder it's card. It's so pretty. Uh, I love the pop of pink. Is, yeah, this one is really pretty. This is using new in colors. It's got uh, peach pie and um, it's got uh, the uh, petunia pop and the, the pretty in pink, which is new but old, right? So we used to have it um, and it came mm -hmm. back. And I just I think that. it's the pretty in pink is slightly different than what it was before, right? It's not exactly the same as it was before, is it? I thought it was. I, thought the I read same. that somewhere. I did not I read that. that. So that so that's news to me. I did not know that. Maybe yeah, you. I thought I read that. I thought I read that somewhere that it's not exactly the same as what we had oh. long ago. It's like oh. just a slight variation change, which would make sense over the years of different vendors so. and. Yeah, I guess so. Well, this one you're going to need to bring in your um, little uh, scoring tool. So we're going to get our um, cutting blade out of the way. And this one is just scored in half. This is just eight and a half by five and a half for standard card base. And it's scored at five, uh, four and a quarter, which would be half of the card. And then we're going to score it at five and a half, which gives us an extra um, one and a quarter inch for the um, book binder. And I'll show you how that works. So we're going to fold our card in half just like this and then our book binding is going to fold back on itself like that i love to do book binding cards mm -hmm. um, whether it's this direction or if it's this direction 
Um, you could yeah. even do it like this direction, right? So um, super, super cute. Uh, or the other way, you could go across here and it could come up like that. So kind of like a notebook, I guess you would say. So you're going to have your card base and you're going to have two pieces of card stock. One is going to be for the outside and then one is going to be for your inside. And then this piece is just scrap paper for uh, stamping and cutting. You're going to need a little piece of designer series paper for your book binding. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that on right now with a little bit of seal. Yeah, I'm with you. I love this. This is such an easy card. It's such an easy fancy fold, but it's not overly fancy. Yes, exactly. It's it's something that anyone can do, right? So mm -hmm. the reason I'm not I'm going I'm going to eventually glue these this book binding down, but I'm not going to do it yet because I want to add my ribbon, right? I'm going to add my ribbon in a bow, a knot, it's entirely up to you. And I want to have it inside so that you don't see it on the back, right? So I could wrap it around the whole card and that would be fine too, but if I wait, if I do it before I can uh, before I um, uh, glue it down, then I've got uh, a place to hide that. So I think on this card, I'm going to use these scissors that aren't the sharpest for ribbon because I use them for paper. But um, I'm going to tie, and I'm going to use my fingers, and I'm going to tie a little knot. And I'm I'm thinking on this one, I'm going to stop at the knot. I like the knot. I love the bow. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But yeah. I want to show you the bow, but there are so many people that say, can't do a bow, don't want to do a bow. And that's okay. Yep. Um, yep. Not is perfectly fine. So I wanted to show you both options. And then I like you to- You could even it have it. You could even what? have it where you just wrap it around and you seal it because you're going to seal that you, close. Absolutely. You could they absolutely could just have a line it. of ribbon coming down the yeah. side without any knot yeah. or bow with like that. Yeah, the opposite. Inside. Yeah, yeah, I agree. With your ends inside, you could absolutely do that. If you want, if you're a ribbon conservative, conservative is that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> conservative -ist, -ist, -ist. Is that such a thing? That's, yeah, I, I, it is. I said it was, so there. <laughs> I said it was, so there. <laughs> I, said it, I said it, so it's true. <laughs> is that a thing? Sure it is. It's a thing. Sure it is. It's a thing. <laughs> All right, so see how that's glued down now, and then that way that's your binding. It's so cute. I can oh, I just love it. I do. It I is really super love cute. It. I am Here's totally me. gonna do this card. I can see this. Yeah, this is such a pretty card. Yeah. So pretty. Okay, so let's do um, some of the uh, stamping. So we're going to first do. I'm trying to decide which way to go. If I should do my stamping on my um, DSP maybe and cutting out. And then this is my piece for cutting. So let's go ahead and do that. This is gonna be stamp the um, little stool and see what I'm using for it. Designer series paper. Am I frozen? Hold on. Yeah, I froze it's just for a second. Just for a second. Yeah, give it a second because my uh, it's not that great of a, Camera's going to zoom in there. Oh, there it is. Now I can see it. Yeah. So you can see the little right. designer's page paper. So I'm doing, um, this is basic beige, but I'm going to stamp in crumb cake. And before I cut that out, I'm going to grab some, I'm going to find them, crumb cake blends. I think I only need the light, but I'm gonna, I've am i got the dark if I need it. So this is light crumb cake. And what I'm going to do is I am going to um, just color the, the legs of the, so here is, th this bench part is going to be overhanging the legs. I know I always try to over explain, but um, it's super easy to just hit shadows. Keep this all light, just mm -hmm. hit shadows where um, the light is going to be covering the the little legs. and then. Again, I like to just give it the round kind of look and the same on the top. It doesn't have to all be colored in. We just want to kind of keep it like that because we're going to put our little pot on it just like that. I think I would just stop right there. So that one's going to be cut out. Then we'll go ahead and we're going to bring in our memento ink because we're going to be doing some coloring with blends. And I am going to stamp my milk pail 
and I am going to stamp my flowers. I'm so glad you gave that a name because I'll tell you what, on my on the tutorials that I gave everybody, I just kept calling it a pot. In the pot, cut the pot, color the pot. Well, I think <laughs> I, the I, makes pot. more sense. I I oh I just don't need that. I'm not done with that. Um yeah, a milk <laughs> pail. Funny. You know, us country folks, we have milk pails sitting um on our front porches. It's just a thing we do. And then this cute little flower market. Um, can go right on the front and make it just complete the little, I could call it a flower bucket, right? could be a flower yeah. bucket. So, yeah. Super, super cute. So let me move my Or you could be me and just call it a pot. <laughs> yeah, or you can just call it a pot. That's perfectly fine. So um, I think I'm going to color, if you don't mind. I think I'll color that quickly. I'm going to try um, to color these. And I'm sorry, that was just not, I was telling you, Betsy before we got on that um, to... Uh, do this, this is not the best tip on this marker, was easier to, um, it was just not going to be an option to color everything in advance. So I'm going to try to use my fast tip here. It's not the greatest. My markers get used a lot. They're loved. So I That's, think you get the I'm, idea. That they are very loved. I actually keep an extra set that are just my love. <laughs> I keep a set on my desk that are just yeah. for me. Just yeah, for me. Yeah, great idea. I'm going to try to yeah. hit this really quickly by just bringing in some here, a little bit for the rounding. I'm going to change tips and do this band in dark, just like that. And then I can come back with the, the uh, nib end, which definitely is much, much better sure. than my, my brush end. Do me a favor, slide over to the middle just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. I thought it was going off just a little bit. So no worries. We all I lean to the right a little bit, right? We all lean yeah, to the right. Yeah. Yeah. So there's my uh, bucket right there. And then my colors for my card is light and dark um, petunia pop, which I, these should be in good shape because uh, they are new. They just came they out. Are, that I'm petunia pop. I'm. I'll tell you what. I'm. I'm I liking that it. color. I really am. Yeah. yeah. It's my. It's probably my favorite. I mean, I like all the new in colors, but this petunia pop is probably um, my favorite. I. I will just when say I it. It's my first favorite. saw them. When I first saw them in colors, I thought, oh, it's very eastery. Um, as yeah, far as yeah. the colors all together with the shamrock uh, and the summer splash and the pretty in pink and all of that. But when you see them like this, I love this. This to me is not Eastery. This is like so bright and summery to me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, very true. Yeah. So I think when I'm doing a small image like that, I'm not even going to go back and blend. I'm just going to let it, let the um, colors do their own thing. And so now I've got the next new in color is the um, peach pie. And so I'm going to do this um, kind of oh, Dahlia Zinnia type flower in the new peach pie. And it's, again, super quick and easy, um, just coloring in. The artists at Stampin' Up! have done all the hard work for us. All we get to do is do our add our little uh, fun touches to it. And on this one, I guess I, I'm looking at my card now. I'm just going to say that. Um, I this when I made the card, it wasn't peach pie, it was petal pink. So, um, that's use okay. petal pink or peach pie, whatever you have. You have petal pink in your uh, you have the petal pink, but you haven't gotten the peach pie yet. That's fine. I'm just yeah. going to show you the difference. So, here's uh, let me show you up in the camera. So, here's the petal oh, pink. Pretty. And the peach pie is pretty too, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the I flowers like you, you cannot go wrong with flowers no, of any go. color. No, you're right. I mean, yeah, you're right. You can't go yeah, wrong. You're you can't go wrong. So um, these mm -hmm. flowers can just be quick little circles. This is the pretty in pink. So it doesn't have to be like super high maintenance, I'm going to say. And if you want to just leave it like that, you can. Or you can just put in a little bit of shading by just popping. Like I'm not even really paying attention. I'm just poking at my flower adding um, just a little bit of dimension, just like that. And then lastly, my leaves. I've got two shades of green here. Let me pull them all out. 
I've got some uh, lemon lime twist. I've got the light and the dark. So I'm going to do some of my leaves in lemon lime twist. Just like this. I'm going to do them on the opposite sides. And go back in with the dark just. And this would a be a good card. Bit. Like if you didn't have the ribbon on there, right? And right. you just have, then you could put like markers. If you were running a class for, you know, for example, you could just put markers out there and then let everybody color whatever color they wanted. Cause you have a gray base. You just have that little bit of blue in the background. I mean, they could, their colors, their flowers could be any color they want them to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Th this mm -hmm. totally could be anything. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Or put the white ribbon down. So the white versus the petal pink on the front. That's true. And again, that you true. could change the color. So if you don't have these markers at home or these colors of markers, you could easily just stamp any, you know, color them with whatever colors you have at home. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to bring my um, stamp and cut and emboss machine back in because we've got a little bit of die cutting to do. And so I'm going to bring in my plates. I've got, I'm making my sandwich. We talked about our sandwich. So I'm going to start with this little, um, let me see where I put my dies. I've got them right here. So I'm going to start with the little stool, the little plant. We're going to call it a plant stand. And let me get my tape off of my last die because then you won't have to watch me try to tear it. I'm doing that because sometimes, sometimes when I use my mini, um, if I don't have my plates aligned correctly, um, things shift. So if you're one of those people that it bothers you when it shifts, then get a little bit of washi tape, get a little bit of painter's tape, or this repositionable. This is just a 3M repositionable tape. So now we can cut the other two. Hear that and just add a little bit here. And then this is going to take me a minute because I got to figure out <laughs> where the flower like, goes. Oh, look at that. Pick a leaf, any leaf. Yep. I think I got it. All right. And then we're not quite done coloring that one, but I want to get it die cut out first. So let me pull that out. So we can do both of those um, at the same time. And this, this is what I was talking about. If I don't have it aligned quite. What? Hold on. No worries. Okay. There you go. That little blue thing. machine is still available online, isn't it? The little boho blue? Uh, yes, I believe it is. I think it is. I think it's an online exclusive. So if anybody wanted that little, the boho, the little machine is always nice because like with this, like if you're just sitting at a desk or if you go to yeah. retreats or crops yeah. or anything like that, it's the perfect size just to have right at your desk for die cutting. Yes, I really like to have... Um, the mini when I'm just don't, if I'm being, I'll, I'll say lazy and I just want to work from my desk, um, mm -hmm. then it's really nice. So yep. I'm going to be doing a little bit of coloring on this with um, some pool party. And I, and it's because I like to have um, this background, instead of it being white, I'm going to fill it in with a little bit of pool party because I'm going to put some pool party. Uh, I'm going to blend a little bit of pool party behind this whole image to make it pop so by having this i don't have the white edges showing and uh it just it makes it feel like it's not uh flat like floating it's it gives round. it depth gives yeah, it yeah. depth right yeah yeah, yeah. It definitely i saw does. um so who was it i, I saw i think i think i saw patty bennett did it patty bennett did it with um we have the new basic beige color um, yes. And she was stamping with that and she found that the ivory, we have the ivory and the bronze blends, the ivory matched really well with that oh, nice. basic beige and kind of did oh, nice. the same thing, like colored in the background. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm just taking the blending brush. You could use um, a sponge. You can use your uh, sponge daubers. And I am adding, because I know I'm putting put something over this. I'm not, I'm not worried about getting a little spoochy there because I'm going to be covering it up, but I want to make sure that I've got color coming out, um, from my, um, uh, where my images are. So I'm going to just put a little bit of a, um, I'm going to add, I want to get a little more color here on this side. 
Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me put that away. So I've just blended um, a bunch of color on, and now it's time for me to put my card together. And I'm going to start with my um, little bench, my little stool. And I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to start, I've got a little bit of a splop, so I'm going to start it down low. And then I'm doing this all, um, this part here flat. So this is going to go on my bench, on my stool. I keep calling it a bench, but it's actually a stool. And then I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals. I've got some here. And then I just saw something I did on mine, and I'm going to show you if you want to do this. But I think it's perfectly fine the way it is, just like this. And then you can decide, like, how do I want that to go on my card? These things stick on there, and I don't love it. <laughs> They um, stick everywhere. So, I know. <laughs> I know. so this is going to go like that. Now, on this card, you probably can't even see it. But what I did, if you can't see it, is I took the, hmm, I don't even think I brought them over here. I took a little bit of gray where it's over oh. the pot so that I put a little bit of gray there. I don't think that you really notice it. It doesn't No, I don't me. think so. But there's a difference. But there, stamp it your way. So there's a yeah. little bit of gray there because that's the gray in the background. And then this is with pure blue, which um, doesn't doesn't bother me. But you one part shorter than the other. Yeah. You'll notice a little decorative edge. And I thought that was kind of fun. I like to sometimes do squiggly lines. Just make I love this. Kind love of, this kind idea. Of yeah. Mm -hmm. It kind of pops. So this one I did straight lines and dots. I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to do some squiggles. And sometimes you can do a line, you can do a squiggle, a couple dots. And they are not the same. They're not no, the same no. length. They're not the same. Yeah. I think people worry about that. And, it, and that's the whole thing about it. It's whimsical. So sometimes mm -hmm. I curl back and sometimes I curl forward and sometimes I don't even curl. I'm not stressing about that because in the end, no one's going to be looking at uh, each individual line they're going to be looking at it as a whole so remember that sometimes you have to step back and look at things as a whole and no one's going to even notice that um one squiggle right. is not perfectly aligned or it's a little crooked and that's the okay. goal is not to overthink this just do it yep yeah. yep yeah. yeah. it's just a framing technique and just using these new markers i just love it so there's a difference between a straight line and just a little squiggly line Okay. Cute. And then, yeah. And then you can glue this on to your card. And then I'll show you what I did on the inside. I've got to add it. Whoops. I stuck it up. Ah, hold on. I stuck it before I got it. I was trying to get under that ribbon and I got a little bit too close. Luckily, it's very forgiving. So I'm going to add a few of my pearls and I'm going to bring in my take your pick tool. And use a little and a big, and then I'm going to go one big one right down here. I like to do the threes. We always talk about the threes. And then I've got a piece. So this is really doesn't have a greeting on the um, uh, outside. Let me find my greeting. This would be great for anything. This would be great for anything. You are absolutely right. I am going to do... I'm going to bring in some smoky slate. I'm still staying in the gray family, but I don't want it quite that um, dark. So I'm going to say lucky, so lucky to know you. And then I want to come back with my um, floral. And this is another kind of technique. And I'm going to bring in, I've got a scrap paper. I'm going to use this as my scrap paper because I didn't put one on my desk. But I like to just bring in a tone on tone. Not even mm -hmm. coloring it, just a little bit of floral. And then you can bring in your envelope and do the same thing on your envelope, just like that. So you've just got Perfect. a little bit of tone on tone. You're not coloring that in. Now, could I? Yes, most certainly. You could definitely color that in. Um, Another idea is you could take your blending brush that has a little bit yeah. of that pool party and you could add that too. That's a great idea. Which is actually what I'm going to show you in the card that I'm doing. So oh, good. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. So there's two different um, ideas, same same kind of look. And then here's my card. Oh, they're so pretty. 
Yeah. So that's my two cards this month. And I'm, I really love them. And I hope you guys do too. So. So pretty. So, so are. pretty. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Ready to see mine? Yes. I can't wait. Look pretty good. Yeah. I love that you okay. always show the dies. I'm bad. I'm bad about that because I don't have my dies mount. I don't mount my dies like you do. So um, I'm right. always happy that you have them. So thank you. No worries. No worries. Happy to have them available. Yeah, to show kind of what we're doing here. And again, what you showed, like with all the leaves that all kind of match. Uh, on the second card, I'm going to do. Um, I the flowers are great because there are all these flowers that it's going to cut out without you having to cut all these individuals. But I'll show you that card uh, second. So the dies okay. on this one, actually, there's no die cutting on my first card, which is kind of nice. There's no oh, die wow. cutting on it at all. Um, so it's super easy. And it is this one. I love it. And it is using um, yeah. that soft sea foam. I don't use soft sea foam a lot, um, but I it, it's such a subtle color. Um, and it, it really is very, very pretty. So for this one. We are going to use some uh, blends. So I use the new Summer Splash. I use Petal Pink. I use Soft Sea Foam. And then I like a color lifter. Um, and then with the paper, I've got my card base here. I'm going to fold that in half. And then I have got, of course, an envelope that we're going to do. I have got a piece of... Um, Soft sea foam that's four and a half by three and a half. I've got a piece of petal pink for the inside, a piece of white for the inside. I've got a little piece of that beautiful ribbon, a piece of the designer series paper. So this one almost has like a little bit of a sea foamy. I got a shadow that right in the middle yeah, it's there. Like so. a, it's like a sea foam, but it's like a basic beige. It's just like a little eyelet, eyelet lace. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like at a, depending on what you put it with, it has a different tone, right? Yes, that's exactly yeah. right. You hit it on Put it with nail. green, it looks green. Put it with gray or brown, it looks brown. Yeah, or like with the beige, yeah. Okay, so in this one, what I want to do here is I'm going to take this piece first, and I'm going to bring in the floral image. So the for this one, I'm using uh, this pot, and I'm using this floral image, and then I'm using the word sending love, okay? So for this one, I'm going to bring on that tone on tone. That Mary Ellen was talking about. I'm going to use some soft sea foam ink and I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp. And it doesn't have to be right or wrong because it, all it is is going to be an accent for around the corners, right? Just to give it a little bit of detail. So I'm just going to kind of stamp here and then maybe bring some going upside down. Because again, nobody's going to be looking at it that closely to see if the flowers are going in the right direction. It's just to add a little bit of detail in that corner, okay? It adds like some texture. It's like a texture type of thing. Exactly, right? So I'm going to clean that because I am going to need that stamp again. So I'm going to clean that quickly, and I'm going to get rid of my soft sea foam ink, and I'm going to bring in Memento. So on the piece for the front, I had it here. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the pot first i love that little teapot we're kind of um teapot collectors here so we've got a lot of teapots and tea cups it so is so cute like, right yeah so i'm using memento i probably should have a mat underneath me but we're going to try it without it i'm coming up just a little bit and there's my flower pot and then i'm going to go ahead and stamp my flowers and it's the same kind of concept by the way there is in the stamp set just so you know there's a single line stamp right here and it kind of like it throws you off when you look at it because it's just this right but that is what you could use to kind of seal off one of your pots if you wanted to right or the the yeah. milk jug if you wanted the milk jug to kind of have a lid on it there is one stamp that is like a single line I'm going to stamp here my flowers. And what I'm doing is kind of looking at the edging of where my pot ends and just trying to connect those with the like some of the flowers that are in here. So it looks like they're kind of connected like that. Right? Yes. That looks good. That looks good. I probably could have brought that down a little bit. I'm a little high on the top, but you know what? That's okay. 
Um, all right, so now what I want to do is I want to color, and I'm going to bring in the Summer Splash, and I'm going to go ahead and use the light, and all I'm doing is just quickly coloring in my little flowers at the top or little leaves, if you want to call them leaves. Um, I like blue flowers. I think there are blue flowers in nature. And I thought, well, that and would you're be... just dotting. That's the, that little dot, that little dotting. You're not, you're not um, having to do a lot. You're just basically dotting color onto where the artist already has little blossoms. Yep. Yep, exactly. So where there's an opening, I'm just kind of dotting it with the ink and being done with it. I'm not overthinking it, just kind of dotting it on there. And then I'm going to come in with the soft sea foam and I'm going to color in my leaves back here. Again, just kind of adding. And if I have white space in there, I'm okay with that because I like that artsy look and I'm not even going to do a whole lot of blending on that. Like I'm not adding any um, darkness to it. I kind of like the leaves being a little bit on the lighter shade, but while I have that, I'm going to go ahead and color in my pot as well. So I'm going to bring in the light and I like to color like around the border first. So we each do it slightly differently. Um, there's no right way or wrong way to do it. No. Just remember that with blends, you don't have to push very hard. I had someone say to me the other day about their blends were really dry and rough and all that. And I think it's, I think it's a matter of pressure. So when you're using the blends, let the marker do the work for you. All right. So I'm going to come in. And I'm going to leave a white space right there in the center. And I'm going to do that on purpose there for a second. Actually, you know what? I colored with the dark instead of the light. Did you see that? You didn't even catch me on that. You're supposed to be making sure I know what I'm doing. Well, I was going to ask you if you were going to stamp your little design on your pot. But maybe you're going to do that at the end. So I didn't want to. I'm actually going to do that at the end. So I'm coming in with the light actually over the dark now. And I am going to color in just that middle section. So by oh, no, color, leaving perfect. it last. It automatically created shading in there. You see that? Yeah. There's the light. See it? So by coloring that last, it created that shading in the center. I'm just going to go in. And now I'm going to bring my dark in again. This is a very subtle marker, so it doesn't have a lot of tone difference to it. And again, that artist tells you where to shade. So if you see those lines, that's a really good indication of where to shade. All right. Now, I love the color lifter for adding additional depth. I think it does a lot of the work for me. Oh, I've got a pretty good area in here that is lighter. But if I needed to, I could bring in my color lifter and just add more shading around. And you'll gradually start to see that lighten up even bigger for me. Okay. I'll let that, and it takes a second or two for that to work. So if you don't get an uh, a result right away, don't worry about it. Just give it a second because it'll start to lighten as it goes. Color in my little roses here. With the petal pink and then I'm bringing in the dark petal pink and I just color like right in the center. Nothing fancy, don't worry about it. Just adding a darker center to them. And there is my pot. Isn't that cute? It's cute, but you're missing the design on it. I am missing the design. You like that little you design. Promised you? you were gonna add it. So I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. It's fun because it's it's nice the way it is, or you can add it. I just think it's exactly, fun. exactly. You this can little add design, it any way you this want little it to go. This little so eyelet, it is so cute, right? It just adds so much to that little pot, doesn't it? It does. It's just a little pop. Just a little pop. All right, so this one, I'm going to go ahead, and I like a lot of dimension. I use dimensionals a lot, um, and I, I'm i okay with multiple layers. Some people worry about the, the mailing of it when it has multiple layers. You know, that's okay, too. 
Um, if you don't want to, you don't have to pop this edge up. You can always make it a little bit, um, you can make it flush with the card. That's fine too. Uh, stamp it your way. I'm going to pop just that up to there. Tell yourself, is your friend worth the extra 20 cents in postage? Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> They're worth oh, I got it. glue that's not going to work. All right, hold on a second. Come on. I've had glue fighting me the last couple of days. It's been awful. Look, that one doesn't work that either. Is, <laughs> that is not just me. <laughs> that one doesn't work either. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, there's one here. I got another one here. Third time's a charm? No, why would it be? Snap <laughs> it on the table. Silly glue. I haven't used it in a while, and I'm afraid I'm going to go too much. So give me a second. Let me grab. A new bottle. Let's try this again. Hey, success. Can't go wrong with a new bottle. New bottle of glue. I'm going to have to get a needle out of, after those other ones. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put that piece on here. And as I'm looking at this, I think this one actually is a little bit bigger than that one. Do you see it now that I put it together? But yeah, it's already glued, so I'm not going to worry about it. But you can see the difference between the designer paper on that. Yeah, yeah I like oh, them both. That's Oh, you can know. see more. You can see more of it. You can see more of the designer series paper, so it's nice. Exactly, exactly. Um, I like the ribbon when I can kind of put the stamp and seal right on the back of it, and then just kind of pop that down in the center. And I can bring in my scissors, and I can trim it up. Isn't it fun that little design on the ribbon is right where you can trim right with the little design? I kind of. I've kind of enjoyed that little diagonal. Exactly. You definitely over overthunked. You definitely overthunked your cards a lot more than I did. <laughs> You're like, oh, is the pot colored or not colored? Is the pot going under the leaf or not? I so did not do that. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> I you think are I way think... more creative than I am, girl. Well, that's not true, but I think that. Um, it, having us both have our own ways, it shows people like if they want to know, because there's people who are like, okay, I don't understand light or I don't understand that. Then, you know, exactly. share a little bit of that. But if, you know, it, if we're showing them, it doesn't have to be that way. So I love it. Exactly. And I did this, the one I was putting one of my cards together, I did this the other day and I did it again just now where I forgot to do the words before I put it on. Oh. So I'm oh. going to attempt... I did this the last time I did this and it actually worked. So fingers crossed, we're gonna try it again. I'm doing you your do little it. technique where I, I only want love, right? So it says sending yeah. love, but I only want love. So I'm going to do what you do and I'm going to ink just love on the side of my ink pad. And nice thing about the photopolymers, I can see right through it. Yeah. Exactly. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of hold this down. Of course, there's a dimensional right in the wrong spot. But we're going to try <laughs> it anyway. So I'm going to wish me luck. luck. Good luck. Luck. Yay. I, look at that. Like okay. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> like I knew what I was doing. All right, and that was the new Summer Splash. I think this one, the Petunia Pop is really cute, but I am such a blue girl that the Summer Splash, Splash is definitely one of my favorites already. Uh, and then I have my little pearls here as well. And I just added one right to that little center right there. And there's my card. Now for the inside, I did go ahead and stamp the floral image again i won't color it because you kind of know how to do that but what you can do and just like what mary ellen was doing you can just stamp part of it you don't have to stamp the whole thing so you can just kind of stamp maybe you want a little bit of the roses to show or maybe not maybe you just want to have a little bit of that blue right so you could stamp that and then again your envelope if you want to do the corner of your envelope add what you want on there and again color as needed right 
<laughs> yes, it's lovely. All right, so this one, this is going to go in here, and that's going to go inside my card so that it ends up looking like that. That's nice. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's a nice note card, so you can use that for anything. You know, that's yes. what I love about it. Yep, this one does, yeah, it doesn't have any kind of right or wrong to it. It's it's just um, uh, sending a card that is sending love to somebody. Excellent. That was easy, right? No die cutting, super simple. By the way, I was thinking when you were showing earlier the embossing folder, I bet you where I stamped that that soft seafoam piece back here, I bet you, you could have oh, done that with the embossing folder sure. and that would have made that pop a little bit too. Well, that would have been nice too. Yeah, I like it both ways. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So there is card number one for me. Now, card number two is I am I actually love this card. I made the I made probably thirty of these um, wow. as a swap card because I loved it so much. Um, it's got a little bit of work to it, but it is super easy to do. Let me clean up my spot here a second. Let me bring this in. So here is the card. Here we go. Yeah. There's the card. And then here's what it looks like when it opens. So nice. Isn't that pretty? You made 30 of those? I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> wow. She says, I did make 30 of them. They go super fast. They goes a lot faster than you think. It really does okay. because there's not okay. a whole lot to it. Okay, prove it. Goes it goes a lot faster. I'm going to prove it right now. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. All right. So with this one, you can see these little flowers that I did in here, right? So the nice yeah. thing about this is that with so many dyes cutting all of these flowers, I can get all of these flowers. This one actually comes through as a continuous loop. Um, so this one um, could work if you wanted to trim them out. But these are the ones you're going to use to get all these flowers. So I just ran those through and I had enough to keep running and keep running. And I could get multiples out of that. Um, That's true. I'm also using the milk pail dye and I'm using the floral dye. Okay. Easy. All right. So for this one, you're going to need some Misty Moonlight and Smoky Slate ink. And you're going to need, I'm using some of the small blending brushes, which are super cute. They are cute, right? These little small blending brushes. Yeah, they are cute. They're cute, right? All right, yeah. let me get my, I've got a mess here. Let me get that out. All right, blending brushes. All right, I've got, of course, an envelope. In the packet that we gave, we're giving two long strips. So they're, this is what they're going to use for stamping and for die cutting so i'm going to kind of just put those aside we have got a piece of white for the back we have got two pieces of designer series paper we've got a strip of piece of ribbon to go around the front we've got a card for in the back we have got a piece of the uh, smoky slate another piece of smoky slate and i'm gonna kind of all my little pieces there and a piece of misty moonlight now we're going to go ahead and score our cardstock okay so i'm going to kind of slide all these pieces out of here and i want to bring in my score okay so i want to score and i think this i love the paper i love the um the paper trimmer uh, but at home, like if I'm traveling or somewhere, but at home, this sits right underneath my desk. It's so easy to pull this guy out. And especially if you're making 30 of them, it's very easy yeah. to throw the paper in here and quickly, quickly get your scores. So this whole piece right here is 11 by five and a half. Okay. So it is five and a half this way by your 11, right? Uh, and we're going to score this at one and three quarters. So I'm going to come in here at one and three quarters and I'm going to score and I'm going to do three and a half. I'm doing five and a quarter and I'm going to do seven. So four score lines there, one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter and seven. 
that down underneath my desk again. And this is kind of like that mountain valley, mountain valley fold, right? So I'm going to go into, I'm going to fold a valley first because that's going to be the inside of my card. And then I'm going to do like a mountain and a valley and another mountain. So mountain, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, right? And I'm going to use my bone folder just to give that a crisp fold. So that there is my card base, right? Easy. Yeah. yeah. This piece so of smoky slate is six and a half by three and a quarter. I think so. I think it's six and a half by three and a quarter. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this in half. Just like that. And this is the piece that's going to go in my inside and be attached right about there is where it's going to be attached but i'm going to put the designer series paper on here first so i'm going to bring this in i'm going to do my paper now if you do a paper that has a design in it kind of pay attention to your design and which way it's going because you're going to want both sides to be the same so if you have a directional uh paper Keep an eye on the direction that it's going. It's just a polka dot. It won't matter, but directional. So that I get that on both sides. And I like to just kind of eyeball it up and down just to make sure that the lines are going straight. Okay. While that's kind of setting up, I'm going to bring in this piece. And I'm going to bring in my smoky slate ink <laughs> bring in my smoky slate ink and i'm going to go ahead and ink our pail and if you were doing two of these you do it twice so you have enough on here to stamp it twice um if you're doing stamp it your way if you signed up for the kit you do that twice okay and you'd still have enough room so if i did this again you would also still have enough room to do your words which I'm going to go ahead and do with the Misty Moonlight on the same piece. And I'm using the words best friend ever because it seems pretty fitting to use this when I'm doing this with my best friend. So Aww. I'm going to do best friend ever. And you could actually get two of these on here as well. All right. And probably have a little bit of extra there just in, just in case, just for whatever you might need. All right, so that's what you're going to use. And when you do that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to die cut that out. Okay, so you're going to end up with this. And then you're going to just hand cut with your scissors. You're going to cut out best friend ever. Uh, there we go. So that I just cut those out. So what I did was I cut right around those little uh, dots. So I just cut it that way and then cut those out to get the best friend ever easy right yes it is it's so far so good i'm gonna cut this one out just so i can show you the difference between this pot and that pot okay now this one is what i'm gonna use then for my flowers so again i'm using the smoky slate and i'm gonna stamp my flowers and if i were getting the kit i would do this twice okay uh and then what i would do is i would use all of those dies to line up on here and I would use those to then cut out all those extra flowers that I'm going to need as well. All right. When you do that, you're I'm going to cut one of these out by the way, just to have one so I can compare. I'm not going to die cut it because you'll see, I have it already die cut, but you'll see what I mean here in a second. Uh, and then what am I going to do next? All right. So let me kind of push this aside and I want to get this attached. Okay. And I'm going to bring in this white piece for back here so that doesn't have any stamping on it so i'm going to go ahead and just glue that in now there we go and what i want to do is i want to adhere this together so i actually found it easier to kind of adhere this side first and then aside then adhere this one 
So I'm going to add, you want to use something pretty strong, like a, a seal plus or liquid glue, but I don't want a lot because I'm only doing part of it. So I'm only doing like right there at the bottom edge and I'm kind of centering this and bringing it in a little bit. So right there. So I'm looking at center on either side. And if I squeeze this shut and kind of gently squeeze it, I like the liquid glue because it gives me that little chance to move it around a little bit if I need to, shift it a little bit if I need to. And all I want to do is just make sure that that's kind of straight on my card. And that looks pretty good, right? Yes, it looks great. So this side is adhered. Now all I have to do is open this side up, add a little bit of glue at the bottom down here. Don't go too high up. And then just push that closed. All right. So that that, give that a second to kind of set there. And now I have my inside. Easy, right? Yeah, I wondered how you did that. It's pretty cool. It's not, that's not a fold I've done. So I'm getting yeah. now though. I know, I right? It's so easy to, easy to do. do. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy to do. All right, now this one we're going to do some stamping. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp my I'm going to stamp my words. So lucky to know you cuz I am very lucky to know my best friend because she is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. And I'm going to go right here in the center. Actually, I'm going to go over here a little bit to the top left like that. And I'm going to stamp my floral image again, but I'm going to use the smoky slate and just like what she was doing is i'm just going to stamp off the side a little bit so i have a little bit of the flower and while i have that in my hand i might as well just go ahead and stamp my envelope to match and again i can just stamp the corner of it right there okay now blending wise i wanted this to have a little bit of color because this is going to go on here like this and that's going to go in here but I wanted that to be a, have a little bit of color. Like the tone on tone is fine, like just having the white, but I wanted it to have a little bit of shading. So I am going to use um, some of the Misty Moonlight and I'm gonna use the small blending brush. And my ink pad is pretty dark, so I don't need a lot on this. And I wanna make sure that I'm doing a very light shading. So hold your brush back here. If you hold your brush back here, it's really hard to press harder. If you hold it up here, you're going to press really hard. If you hold it back here, it's very easy to get a lighter blending if you hold it back towards the back. And it's not as hard to put as much pressure on it just to get a light color on there. Because when I do that and I put this here, then it just pops a little bit. Can you see that blue? Yes, I can. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, and here's a little trick with this. So I'm gonna put this on here. Okay. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna want this to line up because I wanna make sure I'm not seeing that somewhere. I wanna make sure it's lining up with this piece to fall exactly behind it. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put it right behind this piece because it's the same size. It's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So they're exactly the same size. I bring it down just slightly a little bit because it's okay if it's in further on this. And then I'm gonna add my glue. Okay, while I'm yeah. still holding these together, I'm just gonna bring it down and push that down. Now I know that that piece is in guaranteed placement behind it. Is it Perfect. off center a little bit? You know, it is, but I'm okay with that because I want it to be hidden behind there. If I had brought this out a little bit more, this would have maybe come out a little bit more, but I don't think it matters one way or the other. Doesn't even, didn't even notice it. Doesn't bother me at all. No, yeah. that looks good. Yeah. yeah, right. And if you're going to write in here or do whatever you want to in there, but it just kind of hides it behind there. Okay, now I did put the ribbon on my front. Okay, and I did just tie a knot with this. Then you can kind of spin it where you want it. Take your scissors. 
following Mary Ellen's rule. I did not even think about cutting those on the diagonal until you said that, by the way. <laughs> Again, you really overthunked yours. I did not overthunk the mine. Okay. I'm not. I'm, now, I'm just thinking use it, use it as a pattern. Utilize you are, I, I love that idea. I wish I'd have thought of that. I did not think of that. I'm like, I'm just randomly cutting mine, but now that I'm now that I have that, I'm totally doing that from now on. Yeah. All right. So you might be able to see the difference between these. Let me hold them up a little bit further. Do you see how one's a little dirtier I, than the other? Because my can. pail has been out in the rain and the dirt and the mud yeah. and all that, right? Yeah. So I wanted my pot to be just a little dirtier. So I'm using one of the blending brushes with a little bit of smoky slate ink. I'm just adding a little bit of ink to it. And I'm just, again, lightly just kind of adding some shading to the pot. So if you don't like to color, right? So this is another way of going. If you don't like to color, then don't. So instead, just do the pot on smoky slate, stamp it with smoky slate, add some smoky slate shading, and there you've got a pot with shading and you didn't have to color it at all. Yeah, that's cool. I saw where someone used copper clay and made it like rusty. I mean, you mm. might have to use white paper. That really sounds cute. pretty. That sounds uh -huh. pretty. All right. So for the flowers, I did the same thing. So I wanted them to have a little bit of shading. So I'm going to bring in my misty moonlight again, just kind of get a little bit of that off. And again, I'm holding it back here because I want it to be a little bit of a lighter shade. I don't want to go too dark just to give it a little bit of a light shading on it. Got it? Yeah, it's nice. And then you're gonna die cut that out. Easy, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna add my little pot to the front. I'm gonna go about there. And I'm using dimensionals. So now I'm gonna add my flowers. You kind of see how you want to do that. How much you want of the? How much do you want of the pot to show? How much do you want it to be down? Um, I'm gonna go right about there. I think. There we go. So there's my front. There's my inside. The cut flowers kind of match. Now I want to do the best friend ever. So I'm gonna just use a little liquid glue on the back of these. The minute I say little is the minute this thing ends up giving me a ton of glue. Well, it is a new bottle after all. It is a brand new bottle, so be careful. And of course, I just my just filed my fingernails, so they're just like fighting me today. Best friend. I'm just kind of offsetting. There's no right way or wrong way to put these on. I'm just kind of slapping them on there. Ever. Though my best friend doesn't know that. My best friend thinks I spent a lot of time on this for her. So she's probably not going to know that I just kind of slapped that on there, right? Okay, so there's that. And then what I needed was just like some little decorative on there. So you could do what Mary Ellen did with the little, with the stamping. I just brought a couple of the gems in. And I'm going to do the, I think I did the darker. So I'm going to do the darker here. And I'm just going to do... One right there and one right here. And I'm just actually doing only two. I know we're supposed to do that rule of three. I am totally breaking the rules on this one. And I am only doing two. I like it. Breaking the rules. I like it. <laughs> Look at that. Now, the last thing I want to do here is I have all my die cut flowers. So I'm going to bring in my little flowers. And I wanted them to have some shading as well. So what I did was I went ahead and I used... The blending brush and you could do this on your paper so like you could do it on the paper here and then put your dies on and run that through or you can kind of do it after the fact and just kind of dot brush them after they've been die cut either way works right so i'm gonna put in i'm gonna put in a large one a little bit of glue on the back Add one up here at the top. Probably could have done this before you heard it, but that's all right. We can do it after. And I'm going to do a large one at the bottom. And then I'm going to do one small one right there. 
And then I'm going to bring in my mini dimensionals, my little mini minis. And I'm going to take, just to add a little dimension. It does not, the only thing with this card is that it does, it, it, it does go flat, but it doesn't quite go flat, right? So just be a little careful of that. I'm going to offset this one a little bit and then offset this one so that those have dimension on those insides then. And there's my card. And an envelope, you could do the same thing. Just add a little bit. And you'd be surprised how much ink stays in those little brushes. So don't feel like you always have to add more. Keep going until you kind of don't see any more. That's so pretty. That. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, like and it wasn't yes, hard, it. was it? No, no. It wasn't and hard to do. Not a lot of coloring. Just a, a no, nice simple see, and I'm definitely going to be using that. And now you know why I did 30 of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You still that that um that um hmm for anybody that doesn't know that um hmm was her still thinking I'm crazy and nuts, but yeah. she was ignoring agreeing with me just to agree with me. <laughs> How'd you know? No, <laughs> done. That was, that was fun. Um, that was fun, was right? Fun. I love yeah new stuff. Gotta love yeah. working with new stuff. So at the end, we always talk about next month. So you want to talk about next month? I'm going to yeah, turn this over so, to you. You got some I big know. things happening in your life. I good do. Things, I do. All, I good, do. Things. all yeah. good things. All crazy things. So um, uh, take a look at the background behind me because that is going to change. I, My husband and I are buying a new house or in the process of buying a new house. Um, and I'm moving it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm literally going to try to pack this office, which is freaking me out a little bit, but, um, so I'm packing up my office and I'm moving into a new home. And so hopefully my background behind me will be, um, I can get it all set up nice and pretty before we get together in June and have a new background. Otherwise it might just be in stages. It might be a blank wall behind me, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. So yes, I'm sure. very excited. Yeah. I'm excited for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't know what we're doing yet in June because I'm still like um, all over the place. So we're hopefully home. we'll figure it out and we'll bring you some uh, featuring something new and fantastic out of the new catalog. Um, one of the new suites where I think we're planning to stay with the suites, right? I think, I think so that's that was that same. Yeah. So I think that's a safe bet. So you can plan on it being a suite out of the new catalog and we can't wait to share with you in June. We'll we'll pro we'll know by the time this video airs. We'll probably put it in the uh, video description. Don't you think that would be a good idea? I think so. I think so. Yeah. We can make that happen. Hmm. Uh, that's it for me. I'm good. I got to go back to packing my house. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Thanks everybody. <laughs> we really appreciate you uh, watching uh, the April 2024 stamp it your way. Whether you got the packet. Um, of cards or you um, are just stamping along with us using products that you have at home. We're just happy that you're stamping, aren't we? We are very happy. And this is May because trust me, it's it's oh, like, I, it feels like April. it's still April, but it's totally May. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been that kind of a month where it's just like, I wish oh, it was still man. April, but it is May. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Yes, we know May. what we're doing. We yeah. are, we yeah. are professionals. We are professionals. We know what we're doing. And we're glad that you tuned in. So watch for our next uh, uh, coming in June. And uh, you guys, uh, we appreciate you. And subscribe to our channel so that you get all the updates on uh, when we go live. So or when we or when our videos premiere. Yes, please subscribe. We love to feel the love. Yeah. And until then, we'll see you next month. Bye, everybody.